Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm at the river today and I've set myself a challenge. We're gonna do GoPro photography today. So I'm gonna show you my favorite shots now and then we'll get into the video. So I'm using the Hero 5 because it's the only one I got. So I'm shooting in ProTune and of course in RAW because we're already limited by the angle of the lens. So that's enough limitation I think. So we're shooting in RAW and having a full picture control. And I think we'll start with this bay area here. That will give us a nice wide angle shot. So I'm trying to get as close to the water surface as I can. So I don't get that massive lens distortion from the GoPro if I put the horizon on the correct level. So I'll show you my first shot now. I'll also try to get that tree framed. That lens distortion really is annoying. Maybe I can use the ball. Ugh. Or not. That's nice. So I turned out Champ is my model now. So have a look at those shots. So the problem of the wide angle lens is obviously that anything that's a bit further away it's hardly visible at all. So you have to put the important things very much in the foreground. And with those landscapes here, that's a bit hard. So I'm trying to get this light area here, maybe with some paw prints in the foreground. So I'll try to get this grassy patch here somehow properly framed. I want this nice curvature to be visible, which actually, I don't know, doesn't look as good as I thought. Maybe I need to get in more. All right, I think that's nice. 
I don't think I'll get the curvature in the shot, but I might be able to make it work anyway. I'm not sure about this, but you'll see now. I'm looking for other interesting angles, stuff where I can, what I can put in the foreground of my image. Dogs running wild here. So I think this creek that runs off the river here. does look nice on the big camera but I'm not so sure if I can make this work on that super wide-angled GoPro lens I'll try anyway I have to be quick a bit because those ships always pull out the water and it comes back heavily, as you can already see, like a little tsunami. So now I gotta wait a bit until it recedes again and try to take that shot again, maybe like that. All right, look at this. So the water is really low right now. So I'm trying to get onto this little small island real quick. Before it gets back in. So I can take a shot from here. <laughs> That's actually cool. Maybe the ball helps me again. I'm not sure about that. Go get it. This is actually tougher than I thought. I found something interesting on the tree here. It's completely covered with some, some spider web stuff. I think it's actually from caterpillars. Yeah, something like that. Look at that. I'll take a GoPro shot for you guys so you can have a look at that disgusting stuff here. Good that the cam is waterproof. Got a bit wet. So look at that shot. So I'm fighting my way through nestles and mud to get to the other side of that little creek. And the dog is following me. This part isn't that badly influenced by the ships, so maybe I can Take some other nice shots here. Let's see. By the way, I bought this little rubber thing 
that you can put on the GoPro like a lens cap. It doesn't click in place or anything, it's just rubber. But um, it protects the lens, even though you can change it. I think it's better if you got a little bit of protection on it. Uh, so I can put it in my pocket and doesn't, don't have to worry about it too much. I think that looks really cool here. Come here. Come here. What's that frog here? Well, that tree is completely covered in that caterpillar web as well. There must have been millions of them. Whole thing covered in web. And all those cocoons here. Where the caterpillars got out. Oh, Champ collected some stingy plants on his on his dog rig. Dog rig? How do you call that red thing that he's wearing? Good that I put on my waterproof boots today. Whoa. So we can't really get any further from this point. So I guess it won't be much more till this video now. Whoa. Now my socks are wet. Damn it. But I'm trying to get a few more shots for you. Maybe some action shots. Come here, champ. Did a series of shots. Maybe one of them will be nice. I hope one of those shots worked. Look at that! So we're going back now. We're a bit limited by the risen water levels. Normally we could have walked quite a bit further, not today though, but I'd like to have another shot of Champ catching the ball in the brighter area because the GoPro uh, took the shutter speed quite a lot down over there, so we had a lot of motion blur, I'm trying to get rid of that, so I'd like to redo the shot here. Well, we got a little bit of sunshine so let's try to make this work there isn't enough water here but this image looks cool anyway so I'm just gonna take a normal shot here with the sun lurking behind the tree it's nice. I don't know. Might have worked. Let's have a look. That's 
it's wet. Touch screen doesn't work when it's wet. Well, we still got a lot of motion blur, but it does look cool. Look at this. All right, guys, this was kind of an experiment that GoPro only challenge. I think it wasn't the last time that I did that because I actually enjoyed it. It's quite a challenge as it turned out, way more than I thought. And I'm quite limited here because we can't really walk far. So that's it for this video, a little bit shorter this time. There will come more of these challenges, not just with GoPro, maybe something else. Maybe, I don't know, like a cheap camera challenge, but that's done quite often already on YouTube. But why not jump on the hype train, right? So expect this to become a series. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.